Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. I got my sister in the building, Amy Luciani. How are you yeah. feeling, girl? Girl, bless. Blessed, still working. You are blessed. And that's why you're here today because it is Women's Appreciation Month. We want to just thank you for one, for stopping by our Women's Appreciation interview series. I think it's just something that I personally wanted to do, and they let me go ahead and do it. And I had to choose five women in Atlanta who wow. I felt deserve to be here. And wow. another thing that you don't know. You are my very first interview for my own weekend show. Are you serious? Yes, my very first weekend. Remember I told you oh. when we were sitting at the table at Clark Atlanta, we uh, talked to some of the girls, and I told you I got something coming up. I want to have you come on. Now, granted, that's not ready yet. So okay. I said, you know what? This will you know, do but for this now. this is the start. This is the start. Congratulations. Well, thank you. You've been working. I know <laughs> you hear from me, but you've been working and grinding too. So oh. this is so good. So I want to go ahead and get into the fact that you got a lot of things going on. So you have businesses, yes. you're an artist, you're a TV personality. Yes. Just first of all, being from Detroit, how have you been able to, you know, adapt to the Atlanta culture? You know, I, I'm i just one of those people, I just get it in and just do it. I yeah. don't really look around a lot. I'm not one of those people watching others. So I can go anywhere and mm. work. I like to work. I've always been a talent who likes to work. I like to grind. I like to be able to have ownership and work hard enough mm -hmm. where people can't take it or remove it from me. So exactly. Coming to Atlanta was so fast paced. Mm -hmm. It's such a hustling city. It mm -hmm. almost reminds me of Detroit. Right. But just different. It's a lot more to me opportunities here. So mm -hmm. I just got in and Looked around and was like, oh, and it's you've fast been killing pace. it. Yeah, it's time to grind. So. <laughs> yeah, no, you definitely been killing it. You got three businesses Your Pretty Kitty, The Raw Hair Company, and By the Vendor. If you yes. could just talk about those really quickly, because yes. having three LLCs, three businesses, I know it's not easy to manage. I be telling yeah. everybody it's hard to manage the two that I Ooh, got. So talk about hard. that. <laughs> so, you know, my business, my hair company is my bread and butter. I started a hair company six years ago. I came from doing hair 15 years. I was a beautician for mm -hmm. a long time. So hair was just my grind and naturally was doing that. Then I ended up starting a skin product called Pretty Kitty. Okay, which I have. That is yes. it's amazing, by the way. Because you, you gave it. me some turmeric uh, yep. to go on your bikini yep. line. And, uh, and I got to... Uh, uh, I just want to keep you with it. Okay. Anytime okay. it's out, I want to keep you okay. with it. So okay, okay, okay. Stay on me on that. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> so I just wanted to do something for us um, because our skin is different. Mm -hmm. I felt like when I would go into stores or any cosmetic type of place, it was not a broad enough line for mm -hmm. my skin, our skin. We have different needs. So mm -hmm. that's how Pretty Kitty started. It's doing really good. Actually, we are focusing the marketing behind that product because okay. the hair just... It, it, legs. The and hair is going to sell itself. It's hair all yeah. day. So then we <laughs> got Pretty Kitty. Mm -hmm. And I have a business um, called By the Vendor, which mm -hmm. is a business where instead of people having to go out and outsource and find different products, mm -hmm. you can come directly to me. I have a business where we can start the website for you, get your LLC, mm -hmm. you know, communicate I love with that. vendors for you. A lot of that. girls don't know. They might and, have the money. But and they, women don't want to share their vendors either. Once they do get those vendors, they hold on to them. Hold so I think it's good to be a guide, you know, sure. to the girl bosses out here. And For sure. It's a lot of women taking over the game right now. And so we are winning. We and, are. <laughs> and I know it's a competitive sport we're in mm -hmm. as far as entertainment and making money and entrepreneurship. But mm -hmm. I feel like women don't really see the bigger picture that if we all kind of banded together. Mm -hmm. and I'm not saying everybody got a partner. Right. But if it's... You doing something in this lane and she's doing it. Mm -hmm. It's okay to let me connect you with somebody. Right. Because right. you might have a connection for me instead of mm -hmm. sitting there with the gatekeeping. Gatekeeping. Type of energy. Like, why? Oh my God. You said something last night and we're going to get into that. That's got me thinking about that, speaking of gatekeepers. Okay. But I do want to like focus on, you know, your businesses because right now a lot of women don't even know you made a million dollars in your first year of business. First year. So, how in the world, what is the key to running that bag up like that? Because it's not easy. I know it's not. Let me tell you. So, <laughs> The the key is my mom taught me a long time ago when you get, you know, your financial blessing or when you come up out of the struggle, mm -hmm. first thought is you want to go buy this, buy something nice. You got to put it right back in. Right. And you got to put it in again and put it in again and then start a business too. Okay. So me knowing that at a young age, when I made the money, I it, it didn't even seem real. Mm -hmm. It was almost like one month. Imagine just being literally broke as ever. Wow. And then how long ago months, was that? 
This was five. This was about six years ago. Six years ago. Yep. Okay. Wow. So <laughs> broke it. I'm talking about in the negative. Mm-hmm. Had a business idea. Sometimes you think your greatest idea is at your brokest moment. Right. Thought of the idea, and four months later, w- was really what you would consider whatever mm-hmm. the, the status of it. I was mm-hmm. up, as they yeah. would say. Yeah. <laughs> and I immediately was like, "Dang, this seemed a little too easy. Like, how did this mm-hmm. happen?" Just putting your work into your business, you have to be disciplined for at least six months to a year. Wow. I say a year in terms okay. of saving. You got to cut the party out. You got to understand, like, you're operating as a business. What about eating at steakhouses? Got to not do that. <laughs> I was like, still, I I was still look- a little Caesar's pizza up for a minute. <laughs> really? I promise you. Because wow. I almost was scared to blow it and, mm-hmm. and go back to mm-hmm. not having it. So Penny pinch until you climb to the top. Just always act like you don't have it. You got to keep going. Don't become complacent. Your eyes going to get bigger when the money comes. <laughs> Think of investing. Yeah, that's some gems right there. Yes. Man, I appreciate that because that's, woo. And then you lost it all, and then you got it back again. So Twice. Twice. So talk about losing that because, like you said, you were scared to blow it. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure the first time you weren't as scared, the first time you were like, I'm up, I'm winning. I can do it it's, again. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I would actually say... I've had two start overs. Okay. Uh, one was a financial start over and one was more just mentally, spiritually, like mm-hmm. cutting back. I'm starting to go into the lifestyle. I'm buying crazy stuff. I never thought I would want everything. Mm-hmm. I want everything now. So, but the first time just really investing bad investments, mm-hmm. um, particularly family, mm-hmm. friends, mm-hmm. um, you just, when you come from humble beginnings, you will naturally feel like, I got to take care God of God bless me this to help everybody. everybody? Oh, my God. I That's what I I'm am. saying now to myself. I'm you're, saying and I And you're wanna... not supposed to. Okay. You are not supposed to. Okay. You got to establish yourself because if you are the first person that is coming into money or the wealth in the family, mm-hmm. the you should winner. be starting it and keeping it going. But if you turn around with the money and say, now let you me get help a, everybody. You get a thousand. You, you get, get a thousand. thousand. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking 10,000. Yeah. Woo. Ten thousands? Thirty thousand. You were giving tens and thirties. Tens and thirties. I was getting tens and thirties wow. and investing. Okay. And if you came with me with this idea, you were you were all like, you want to invest in it. I'll you help all for you. it? Yeah. Okay. I remember my heart was like, I remember when I needed help. If somebody mm-hmm. had just gave me five thousand. Yeah. No. It's, it's the wrong thing to do. Oh my god! Everybody need to hear this. You don't even oh. understand what oh. people need to hear. And but, you got to rid the guilt. Yeah, you got to read the guilt. You mm-hmm. you got the blessing. You yeah. have the capability now to change the trajectory of your family, your right. lineage. Like you're not gonna do it giving it to people. People mm-hmm. who have already irresponsible with their money when they give you when you give them their money because there's no skin in the game. Mm-hmm. They not they're gonna blow it anyway. So you wow. just wasted your ten, twenty, thirty thousand. Good, you can't. If anything, employ and try to help in that way. But just just to start over, you know, we are learn we're learning this yeah. is all learning experience so mm-hmm. every day money, figuring it out it was coming in so fast at mm-hmm. one point that it felt like this is going to be like this forever oh, and then wow. when you're giving so much away mm-hmm. and then you invest in and it's a good investment or a bad investment mm-hmm. girl you would just look up one day and be like where did all that money go let's see you a gemini and you know <laughs> gemini's bounce back regardless gonna get it back now a lot of people probably won't be able to bounce back because i heard the first million is easy and then every oh. million after that is oh. easier my when the goodness. first million is hard, hard, and then every million after that, is, it comes easy. It's been the opposite for me, though. The first one was easy. Very easy. And then to re-up is hard. To, the, to re-up, I think that um, I also had this mind where I always want to invest in something and, like, either mm-hmm. help somebody or have this idea. Mm-hmm. So I'm learning to be – just been learning this quote, and I'm living by it lately, that you don't want to be a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. none. Mm-hmm. So that was my issue. So at one point, I had about six businesses running. Ooh. And behind the scenes, I had my hand I in think like... I we talked about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had my hand in five other businesses silently people didn't know about. Wow. And I was just like, stop this. Come down from this. I literally sold my mansion, started everything over. It was Everything was going too fast for me. Yeah. I was like, hand in here, hand in here. And I had to start over and say, get back to the start of it. The roots. You had the businesses. Mm-hmm. You you weren't spending the money. You were investing. You weren't buying all this stuff. I just got rid of all of this nonsense that I was buying. It didn't mm-hmm. do any type of fulfillment. It just looked like I was supposed to carry this stuff. But wow. after a couple of years... 
through the experience, like you don't need none of that. Right. You <laughs> no. don't need it. I, and I appreciate you f- for that because like, I feel like I'm like a yes away from my next big. And the first thing I was thinking is I got to help my family. I got to oh. help my sister. I got to help my new baby nephew. Like I'm in my head. That's what I'm thinking. You will help the family by helping yourself. For a couple years, okay. getting it established, get grounded. Because mm-hmm. when you when they come to you and they start seeing like, oh, something changed. We see it's some real, real, real mm-hmm. money up in yeah. here. You're gonna see how they come out the woodworks, and your guilt yeah. naturally is gonna be like, I'm supposed to do this. I was mm-hmm. the blessed one, but mm-hmm. you're really not in the beginning. Well, and it'd be like you. shame on people to. To, so much. to feel it's to so feel early. obligated yeah yeah, yeah. well mm-hmm. thank you for sharing those gems and so you know even with that business is doing good you get a phone call mona scott young is, did she per- personally call you or like how was it she didn't personally call okay. me um people don't know loving hip-hop reached out to me a few times okay i had the opportunity a few times um through various producers who wanted this story and some of the stories was it's just never the story was right. weren't story yeah, line. Yeah, it, yeah, it mm-hmm. wasn't storyline for yeah. me. Like <laughs> um I just I had to make sure it was the right opportunity. So when it came the third time, I was like, Yeah, now this will make more sense. More I sense. feel like okay. in my career I'm ready. I have mm-hmm. more control over You could be yourself. I don't want to do this. Mm-hmm. I don't have to do this anymore. So right. it just made sense and that is going fast as well. It's like everything in my life is <laughs> Literally going fast. everything. Like me watching you on social media, I'm like, man, like I thought I was running around like Girl. a chicken with my head cut off, but every day you have something going oh on. Oh my God. So what is it like being on one of the longest standing reality shows in Atlanta? Like what is that like? I am enjoying it. I'm a person. I treat so much of everything like a job. Okay. And <laughs> it's to me, it's a fun job. I'm excited uh-huh. when I have kids to be able to talk about this job. Okay. I don't know if I do this job forever. <laughs> But mm-hmm. for now, I'm loving it. It's an experience. And, you know, we all came up just watching TV anyway. Right. So sometimes I'll be in my building, I'll walk past the lobby, and I'll be on it. And then, <laughs> I don't know. Like, is it's, that me? It's is crazy. It, is that me? You know, it's so crazy. I did put a ring on it on own, and I was one oh. of the daters. Oh, what? And so, yeah, so I was on season three. And like like the same feeling, like you walk past and you're like, is this it? Now, is granted, that... I know I only did like one one season, okay. but you know but it that's wasn't still like big. A, yeah. I that's just big. it's just to see yourself. I can I already know that feeling. Yeah. That's like first time you hear yourself on the radio. It's the same exact same feeling. <laughs> and I don't I don't think I stop enough to actually like celebrate really your victories. See it. I'm telling you, life mm-hmm. goes so quick for me sometimes that mm-hmm. I have to have people around me to stop me sometime and like, like hey, look take and be a like, drink. Do you see what you did? Get your flower. You just yeah. Did this. And I'm uh-huh. just like, Celebrate. But I got to do more. I'm already 10 more steps trying to do other things. But mm-hmm. just the TV is different. I actually, my big goal is to get my own show. I'm already claiming oh, it. Oh, manifestation. Gonna it's going to happen. Show, yes. You got such a vibrant personality. We're not even worried. Like, I'm you, you going to get your spinoff soon. And it'll be right on time. <laughs> yes. It'll be right on time. It's time. So I'm working. That's why this is so important just to even, you know, be appreciated because us and women in mm-hmm. business, mm-hmm. you know it firsthand. Mm-hmm. It can be like all over the place. You want to give the sexy, you want to give the looks, but you mm-hmm. also like I have the brains. Mm-hmm. I want you to focus on the business, on but you mm-hmm. don't want to be so prude like where mm-hmm. they like you know you're a little stiff. So you got to learn how to keep the mm-hmm. appeal with the professionalism. Right. It gets hard sometimes yeah. when big money gets involved. So I just I just love women who turn back and say congratulations or sis what you need help with you've yeah. always been like that since mm. we met so I have and always. I'm so serious anything that you need I don't know it and I'm all I'm always about alignment you yes. know so it may not be right now but right now I feel like we have the energy that we yes. need the necessary energy in order to build something if something was going to come from that definitely and it's going it's going to come yes I I appreciate For that sure. and so with love and hip hop you know you spoke on people focusing on the things that matter. Right yes. now, we watched you go through a whole breakup. And you mm-hmm. know, y'all are like bro and sister me. So yes. what's one positive thing? Because since today is all about uplifting and yes. encouraging. What's pop, one positive thing you can say that came out of that relationship that you could pass on to the next person who's trying to, you know, either date somebody in the limelight or balance all these different things and a relationship at the same time? What's yes. one positive thing that y'all shared? So a positive thing that we share, we're both, uh, big dreamers. Okay. So, you know, although the relationship ended, mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Six years, right? Six years. Oof. This would have been year seven. Goodness. Yes. And y'all are so, y'all were I so. Hope it's not over know. forever, forever. But yeah. for now, it's just, it's not. He got to get it together, yeah, man. Lot, Look, like, I'm going to call him. I'm going to be like, yo, call him. what you doing? Say this girl <laughs> love you, You got, you sir, got a whole queen yours. over here. What you girl, doing? <laughs> you got to wake it up. Wake it up. Right, right. <laughs> but I would say um, the best part of the relationship is having a person with an entrepreneurship mindset and a okay. dreamer. Okay. A lot of people don't dream. Mm-hmm. A lot of people actually have their 365 lined up and it's the same thing. They're not dreaming yeah. beyond it. So mm-hmm. I think, no, I know what got me through to be able to hustle more and start businesses was mm-hmm. having a partner mm-hmm. who is a dreamer, who does understand, you know, entrepreneurship, right. who understands might have made 10K today, might mm-hmm. make nothing for two months. Like, yeah. So just having a person there is it was the best part about it. I didn't I didn't feel ever that I was doing it by myself. Yeah. Or like, oh my God, I don't have anybody who understands like mm-hmm. you understand an entrepreneur's life. Like right. this is very unorthodox. Some yeah. people can't handle it. They don't understand it. Mm-hmm. So to have somebody just doing the same thing. Like minded. Very like minded. Yeah. I love that. Except for a couple things. Yeah, I know. And and, and, and men gonna be men. You know we <laughs> they ladies be men in. and we, we be ahead of our time. We be steps ahead of them at yes. times. We have to kind of bring them up to mm-hmm. speed sometimes. And I just think, you know, like it's if it's meant to be yes. with your with your mama and your grandma and everybody yes. always say, if it's meant to be, it will come back. I, I and I think Six it years. may. I think it may. Yeah. I, I hope we're going to see because yeah. I know on the show you speak on the why and everybody just needs to tune in and see that. That's why I didn't want to yes. like get into that because you yeah, said the why, you know, you sure. spoke on it. So I'm very vocal about it. Mm-hmm. He knows it. Um, It's it's just this lifestyle is very different mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. have to have a disciplined mindset because the money will come is you're going to squeeze the money out of it mm-hmm. and you got to know what you're going to do with it and the reason you're doing it. Right. So my mentality has always been. I'm not like a cloudy type person. Mm-hmm. I don't really. I'm not a You're designery natural, natural, type of person. Shine. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, and I know about just money investing, mm-hmm. and so gotta have like minded friends and partners Absolutely. who understand it so that you don't end up carrying the bulk of things trying mm-hmm. to be responsible so absolutely when we get that together <laughs> then y'all gonna be gonna the, get, the, yeah. back, the power couple that y'all were <laughs> yes. y'all already planted the seeds so yes. it's there yes. now last night you said something about and i got it right here you said um you said something about appreciating your small village because even though people may see the opportunity to help you or get behind you, yep. they won't because they're waiting on you to reach out. Talk yes. about that because that's major, especially yes. in Atlanta. Yes, it is something I've, I'll never understand, but people, particularly in the industry mm-hmm. that we're in, mm-hmm. will have connections. So, so basically, I'm a person... Let's say I have a connection. It may benefit me or it may not. Mm-hmm. I can. I will always share it with you. Right. I don't believe that this person, this person, you, no one else can take the opportunity that's already for me. Mm-hmm. If it can get taken from me, it wasn't my opportunity. Right. So that's true. I'm a person. I just here, 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 you here. Need this con- like literally. If you feel like you can fill that gap, if you're here. the missing puzzle piece, but you then. wouldn't believe how many people actually will sit there like. I actually have this connect that she actually needs, but wow. I'm going to wait until she asks me for it because some people really want to be able to say, attached to the resume and say, well, you know, she wouldn't have got at, um, on that stage if it wasn't for if me. It wasn't for me. <laughs> and yeah. that, that mentality is the reason why we crab in a bucket. We, mm-hmm. us, mm-hmm. Th- that's why it's going the way it's going. Like, mm. I just feel like people have this mentality. Like she may pass me up. Right. But imagine having, Five people in, out of your ten friend circle who actually pass you up. That's five people that can turn back around and pull and spin you the block and pull you zero up. of your friends, right? Because you don't want to help somebody. That's it's it's actually yeah. a crazy mentality mm-hmm. to me. So I've just learned like I used to feel like, dang, I help so many people. Mm-hmm. Why aren't they? But then I had to realize I got to really stop expecting me and other people. Your feelings gonna be Man, hurt every single time. Mm-hmm. You're, they're not you. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna do what you do. They may not. They may not have the confidence to think that if they help you, mm-hmm. that they they'll be overshadowed. Girl, let her overshadow you right. for a season. Yeah, so for what? a season, let her shine. You've been Everybody, all this time, right? And, and she can't. She shine. can't have a. She can't have a quarter of the year. And you can't sit back. <laughs> I feel like people for two need seconds. To learn how to clap from 
the the, the bag. Mm-hmm. Like some people, you have your opportunity to be on stage with your friend and clap. Mm-hmm. Some moments you may be in the back and have to sit and watch and clap for others. I love that. Everybody want to be I love that you understand for. that. You understand. You get it. And that's why you are who you are. And I knew it was something about yeah. you because when I met you, I felt it. You know how you could just feel it yeah. in somebody? It's like you could tell the ones who just kind of side eye you and don't want to help you, don't want to speak too much, try to get in a room and overshadow oh, you. It's, do, it's too do too much to try to sometimes stand out. Sometimes my team have to tell me, go say more. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes I'll just sit, I'm just sitting back. I Watching. Just, it attracts mm-hmm. to me because mm-hmm. I always try to put out something good. So you don't have to go in the room and do the most. Mm-hmm. You know that sometimes... The room will come and call for you and reach out for you. But Absolutely. it's about paying it forward to people. And mm-hmm. I have a few people on my team, like a very small team, and each one of them have the same mentality as me. Yes. We all take turns like, oh, sis winning this season. Mm-hmm. I'll be in this the your back, season. Literally this doing her hair, whatever you need. Her stuff, yes. Whatever you need. Yes. And then they beautiful. turn around and say, nah, Amy, it's your time. Mm-hmm. And now I'm the queen for the day. Like, we mm-hmm. are rotating mm-hmm. off of that. And I feel like if people start getting more into that mentality, mm-hmm. we have so many more multi-millionaires coming out of our families like Mm -hmm. just the the hater spirit is really heavy on people and it's disgusting i love it ladies i hope y'all are listening it is women's (laughs) appreciation month and amy is on to something i'm telling you you better pick up these gems now let's get into the music yes your music first of all amazing like i'm not just saying that i'm not you know i'm at a radio station so i can't just give you a cosign if i don't believe in it for one you have substance for two, you're not scared to put out a song that's uplifting women and all of that. For sure. Why is that so important versus, you know, the catchy, more popular, trendy route? Um, I, I just like to be authentic. I don't, when I listen to the radio, I love it. I'm listening to all of it. Okay. I have just, any of them, I get it. I feel like mm-hmm. everybody brings a certain type of energy and a certain type of um, charisma to the game. But mm-hmm. with me, I'm just like, I'm kind of tired of hearing the same thing. I <laughs> I know the trendy music is always going to work more. Mm-hmm. Clearly, I haven't had another yeah. one yet. Clearly, <laughs> I ain't coming. got a Grammy yet. It's coming. But I do believe, it's it, and it's coming for sure, mm-hmm. but it's a longer route yeah. that I'm it's taking. It's a long way, it's, it's, and that's okay. And, and that's cool because you're, I'm learning You're built for it. For sure. Mm-hmm. I just feel like what my music is true to me, like, okay, this is really how I feel. Mm-hmm. People really want to hear that still. Mm-hmm. I know the masses are into this, but mm-hmm. I'm cool with my chunk of community that's like, right. we want to hear some real stuff. Yeah. We want to hear that. So mm-hmm. I'm going to make that lane work. Still, of course, keep it trendy. We're working on a new project right now, but the Amy today is like, I want to rap about something that is important to me. Like, yeah. I want to see us win. I love I it. I really want to see us boss up. Like, the feelings that I get when I wake up in the morning and to have financial freedom, mm-hmm. to not be owned by anybody, to right. be able to do what you want to do. It's mm-hmm. a blessing. I mm-hmm. want I want a lot of more of us to feel the feeling. Yeah. It feels so good, and we can really do it. So I try to make music that will make you get up and be like, that's it. Let I'm, me go I'm get not it. Going for this no more. Yeah, that's it. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm getting yeah. mine this I'm year. I'm about to so. boss up. Yeah, yes. take it to the next level. That's what I like to write about. Well, we definitely appreciate you um, for that. Now, women killing the game. Yes. Who would you say right now are some of the brands, some of the women that you feel we should tap in with, or that you just like really love and adore? Who do I love and adore right now? <laughs> I'm loving all the girls. I'm particularly loving Lola Brooke. Okay. I, I'm just loving the <laughs> grind. I had the pleasure, actually, of opening up for her last year in Texas okay. and just seeing her rap. She's so the, teeny. The, she's so small, <laughs> she's but so, cute. so powerful. Mm-hmm. I'm just mm-hmm. loving the sound. Mm-hmm. It remind, I, I'm a big Foxy fan. So okay. I also think okay. mentally right. it's almost that, too. Like yeah. I just naturally attract to Foxy Brown. Aww, she always felt like the yeah. underdog. I can, feel, I can see that. Yeah, I've I always loved it. her low tone. So I would say mm-hmm. I like Lola Brooke. Um, I like sexy red what she's doing okay. too. She okay. in her lane, like she got her lane and she is dominating. She is it. dominating that lane for sure. <laughs> right. And the songs come on and I be lit. <laughs> right. Like no I'm, matter where everybody you talking about this and that of her. Listen, shut up. Somebody <laughs> gotta her be win. here every now and then. Gotta come in it's like her this. Season. And this right. is the time for uh-huh. her. So I'm liking sexy red. Um. Of course, the OGs, Nikki, all mm-hmm, of them. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just a girl's girl. Okay. I listen to them, even yeah. though a lot of my music isn't on a lot of the subjects mm-hmm. that some of the music is on. Mm-hmm. 
I'm a music person, yeah. so I listen to all of them. I can catch a vibe from everybody. So right. I would say all of the girls right okay. now. Well, rapping. I was just curious. I like to pick your brain, and you know, since we all you're a girls' girl, I just I'm just curious to see you know who you follow, who you, yeah. you know, look up to, who you inspired by. I, so, I'm more so. Yeah. I think I follow more business um, girls than a lot Girl of bosses. rap girls. Okay. Like, okay. I don't really follow any music artists. That's wow. crazy. Yeah. I follow like the DJs, of course, mm-hmm. the youth, the people that of can, course. yeah. <laughs> but, um, I just don't want music on my timeline all, all day. the time. I'm already yeah. in the studio here. Dum, dum, dum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to just hear it all day. So I'm really into, um, a lot of brands, a lot of businesses. I'm always following the girls watching like, Oh, is that what they doing? Yeah. Is that what's going on? So, right. Right. I am watching the girls that's gonna motivate me. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Now what else are um what else before we go? Um what are you promoting? What do you have coming up with something that everybody just needs to know about? Yes, yeah, so I am actually about to drop my first book. It's a children's oh, wow. book. Yes. Okay. It's so important to me. It's um called Good Touch, Bad Touch. Okay. And it is a book in a very kid like, safe and fun way that talks about inappropriate touching. Oh identifying that was inappropriate, how to communicate wow, it that's powerful. to the parent or the aunt that's raising you or the mm-hmm. grandma that's raising you, whoever's raising you. So it's a, a kid book. It's um, kid-friendly, so I would want to say around ages 3 mm-hmm. to about 10. Mm-hmm. It's a book. It's not a book for the class to be read in oh, front of. It's a yeah. personal book. It's really cute. It's mm-hmm. really lit with illustrations and it is just important, especially today, today. with every all the assault cases and things that are going on. You can prevent that at a younger age, so at that when you're older, age. you it's second nature. And I think in our mm-hmm. community, we have this thing like we don't start talking about sex until you almost 18, feel like 16, you getting grown. She's uh-huh. like she getting a little body. We uh-huh. don't talk about it. No, uh-huh. actually, it you should talk earlier mm-hmm. because they some kids. I'm a person who unfortunately was mistouched Aww. so that's why it's important to me i I'm feel sorry like to, yeah, yeah i feel like as a kid you don't really you don't know parent, it it's only yeah. talking about the big thing which is sex mm-hmm. then you don't know what the small stuff is like that leads into it touching and rubbing you don't even know what that mm-hmm. is so i wrote the book it was on my heart and it's so good and i'm Aww. so excited to put it out there and i just feel like it will really help not just our community but just help people in general to you know, have the conversation. It's yeah. a, I think a lot of parents don't know how to have the conversation when they're right. three and four without making it fearful and mm-hmm. scary. Mm-hmm. So I wrote the book very careful, whereas you, you will be happy to actually read the book with your nephew Aww. or your niece or yeah. your daughter. I can't wait. I'm, I'm going to definitely support this. it. I'm going to be behind it. Let yes. me know when the launch is. If Good you need touch, me on the mic touch. as well, let yes. me know. <laughs> I'm excited about it. So, um, about to drop that, I mean, literally in the next few weeks. So my concentration has been on that. Um, and just the music. I just dropped a single called Theory okay. with a music video. Mm-hmm. I have an EP about to come out called A Heartbreak Story. Okay. It'll be my first I, time talking about And I about, saw the wedding dress and all yes, that. And, oh, my goodness. It'll yeah. be my first time actually putting a piece of work out that is about current what I'm going through. Mm-hmm. I we can know, live with you. Yes. We can, we can go through it with you. I strategically would drop something months after mm-hmm. I'd have been crying all month. Aww. Because I don't, Yeah, I try to keep people disconnected from what's going on currently mm-hmm. in the personal. Mm-hmm. But this is the first time actually like, no, I'm yeah. on this TV show. I'm for the first time like talking about it out loud. Like, right. Why not put the music with it? So, a heartbreak story. We're about to drop that. Okay. I'm just excited. Yes, you got so many things yes. going on. And of course, you got to be following her to see because we will be all day. You yeah. know, this woman is so complex. I love her to death. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. Um, tell everybody where they can follow you, keep in contact with you, reach out. Yes, definitely. So follow me on all social media. My social media is Amy Luciani World. Um, definitely go stream the new single Theory. Go check the video out on YouTube. Check me out on MTV every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Love and hip hop. And just it's check out everything. It's getting spicy too, y'all. It's getting spicy. It's getting spicy. And y'all ain't seen nothing yet. I'm, oh my I'm God. I'm scared. It's so much that y'all haven't seen. Every, you know, we don't know yeah. what's going on. Oh, be y'all played. don't know because y- y'all don't know how it's being edited. Girl, I be watching on Tuesday like, oh God, no, the episode is here. No. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen. Well, we're going to stay in touch. Amy, thank you so much for stopping by. It's Amy Luciani, my agent Simone. It's Hot 1079. Thank you.